Hello, history optional students. Welcome to Diademy IAS. I am bringing you 2023 special courses. Those who are going for mains this year, I am going to make some value addition to your preparation. These are the various programs I have designed exclusively for 2023 mains. Generally, most of the history optional students are comfortable with the general writing style. If we write generally, no doubt history is very safe optional. Minimum score 220, 230, definitely it will come if we do not commit any mistakes and if we do map decently. But to move from 230 to 300, so 60 to 70 marks difference will come only when you take care of certain areas. These are the areas most of the students, either due to lack of time, they could not cover. Another reason is, if they don't get sufficient material or value addition material, they will not be able to do that. I am going to bring the solution to this particular problem. One is value added notes. If you want to score 300 and beyond 300, definitely when it comes to paper one, Historiography, different uh, names of historians, always better to bring in the answer. And different archaeologist names, because we know our ancient history because of the contributions made by different archaeologists, both foreign archaeologists during British time period, as well as our own Indian archaeologists after independence. Particularly during Harappan time period or prehistoric time period, Stone Age, Harappan, and Vedic time period, we have different contributions of different historians. If we bring those historians as well as archaeologists, we will get definitely 300 plus score. Those things I am going to give you in this value added notes. Historiography and prehistory. Prehistory is one of the pain areas for history optional students. Why it is painful area means we cannot leave as part of choice. Because first question itself is compulsory. That is map marking. We cannot escape that reality. Suppose even in case of questions also, if you go to second question or third question, they will give A, B, C. Even if you are comfortable with A, B, or B, C, one question will come from prehistory, Stone Age, either Mesolithic or Neolithic or Chalcolithic. As part of map preparation itself, you are going to study, but map itself is a painful aspect. If you are having strong command over map, this value added nodes will help you a lot. If you are not strong, this will help you to boost your scores. Prehistory, this so much evidence, archaeological evidence I am going to give you as part of this value added nodes. So in case of paper one, you will get ancient part, historiography, as well as prehistoric sites. And when it comes to medieval part, we need, nowadays questions are related to some economic uh, dimensions of medieval part. Earlier questions were direct, like Alauddin Kalji, market reforms, Akbar's uh, Sulhaikul. Such kind of questions were coming 10 years ago. But gradually, since 2012 and 13 onwards, in medieval part, the economic dimension started gaining more importance. For example, during Mughal time period, the population condition, the industrial development during Mughal time period. Because we, when we became British colony, there were so many arguments whether India was a developed country or undeveloped country. From the British point of view, they have to justify their ruthless policies. They used to say that we Indians do not have any civilization, no economic policy, nothing was out of. They came here to civilize completely. But Indian historians started countering one by one all these arguments by showing the evidence. This is exactly the same thing in medieval time period, because medieval is the one that period just preceded before the coming of British. It is very, very important to counter this colonialist view. So much, 
so much research has gone through after particularly after independence that's why a new interpretations and new evidences are coming out that's why upsc is also focusing on these economic dimensions for example like population and industrial development as i already mentioned another aspect like uh, labor conditions uh, during this particular time period so such kind of economic dimensions uh, are little bit required because if you are not comfortable in choice if you have chance you can leave it but sometime upsc force the student to write definitely because a b c once you select the question 6 or 7th one then all the three subsections you are supposed to write and you cannot escape that that's why this value added notes will bring you difference to your preparation next one map classes map every student every history student knows this fact that map is very very crucial aspect we are very much comfortable in reading a lot of books about history no doubt in it most of the students are very much comfortable with the other parts of history but when it comes to map this is one very much painful area it requires a dedicated committed work towards that then only we can see the result when it comes to map question that is question number one itself it has psychological impact also of entire history optional itself because once you go to the examination morning when you sit you are going to encounter the first question map only if you are very much comfortable in map it is also one of the high scoring regions even 80 percent of the score that means out of 50 marks up to 40 marks also possibility is there but despite this fact we are not able to utilize this because of some kind of restrictions i am going to bring you this solution for this map classes as part of classroom program i will teach you and as part of material i will give you two types of materials here i will show you how this looks like one part is systematically organized time zone wise this you can see first of all i will give you complete overview about how questions are coming with respect to map in the map material itself you will see in the beginning section itself map pointing pyq analysis now if we go to this analysis you can see here upsc is to give different names some sites they may say prehistoric site some site they say harappan site a capital city an ancient capital a buddhist site an administrative site a post mauryan trading site so this kind of markings used to come i have analyzed completely because this kind of pattern started since 2012 we have the reference of 11 years ready made that's why from 2012 to 2022 we have this now you can see these are the different type of sites i categorized this is the name which upsc used to give upsc if you go through from 2012 to 2022 question papers you will find in the map like ancient administration center an art center center of gandhar art center of school of center of school of art likewise and if we categorize these are under art center sites when it comes to buddhist site category is only one buddhist site but upsc can change the terminology of this buddhist site in different ways this is how with respect to previous if you go through 2012 to 2022 you will find different questions with this name a buddhist site in 2015 11th question is was given like a buddhist site a site known for buddhist remains same thing related to buddhism only it was the description given by upsc in the question paper in 2016 a site of buddhist monastery again same related to buddhism buddhist center buddhist monastery i have given the number question number also in these numbers you have this type of description you have to identify the location and you have to write about the description 30 words once you identify the right 
place, students will not have any difficulty. For example, if question is related to Nalanda University, Buddhist University, then students will not have any issue in writing 30 words. But major challenge is whether it is Nalanda University or Vikramshala University or Odantapura University or some other university. If it is Palabi University or Kanchipuram University or some other Nalanda University, different locations, no problem. But when it comes to Vikramshila and Nalanda, they are very close. We need to identify that. Such kind of challenge is making map question more difficult for the student. First of all, we have to know how UPSC is giving about different. That is our first analysis. Likewise, you can see, when it comes to capital sites, this type of description used to come. A capital city in 2016, a capital town. Now you see, in 2016, it is not about only one question about a capital city. A capital city in 2016, 13 also, 14 also, 20th also. That means three map locations are related to capital city only. So this kind of complete overview is required before start working about the map. That's why our first target is to analyze all these from 2012 to 2022. Here you can see, like just on capital site itself, different type of descriptions in different years. Likewise, Chalcolithic. Now you can see, Chalcolithic itself, a Chalcolithic site, single name. A megalithic Chalcolithic site. Now you see, some sites having evidence of both megalithic phase as well as Chalcolithic phase. Such kind of sites are given megalithic Chalcolithic site. A Neolithic megalithic Chalcolithic site. All the evidences, three evidences, came from some areas in 2013, they have asked. A Neolithic Chalcolithic site, Chalcolithic period site, Chalcolithic site. So this is the exact description of UPSC. I have given which year is containing, which is the. A Chalcolithic site, for example, in 2012, if you see, you can see how many questions have come in the same year. In the same year, out of 20 questions, six questions are related to Chalcolithic only. Now you see how important uh, prehistoric period is. Two and a half mark each question. That means six questions. Six questions. So you need to add 15 marks in this. So it is equal to one question itself. But you have to split that knowledge into multiple places. Likewise, Chalco church site, cultural site, economic site, education site, fort site, fossil site, Harappan site. In Harappan also, you will not have straight forward Harappan site. It is either pre-Harappan site, late Harappan site, early Harappan site. An important Harappan site, early and mature Harappan site, early Harappan site. So likewise, UPSC is making map aspect a little bit complicated for the students. If we systematically follow this, now what is our, how our practice should be? If you have all the important Chalcolithic sites in single place, game is done. All the Harappan sites, all early Harappan sites in one place, mature Harappan sites in one place, late Harappan sites in one place. If you have all the list, you have the list. It is segregated or scattered. Now we need to properly, systematically segregate into these headings, how UPSC is expecting. Then our scores in MAP automatically will increase. It will go beyond 30 marks, 35, 30, 37, 40 marks also possible. Likewise, Jain site, megalithic site, mesolithic site. So likewise, properly, systematically, I have given this analysis. You can get this as part of material. Next, after analysis, now what is our target? We have to know as many sites as possible in Chalcolithic, in Neolithic, in prehistoric period. That means in Paleolithic, Mesolithic, Chalcolithic, Harappan, likewise. For that, next hour is going to be like this. Hominid fossil sites, I have given likewise. If you go through the index itself, you will come to know that which sites are fossil sites. Here, 
hominid fossil site means some kind of fossils related to humans. And if you see in the index itself, hominid fossil sites, Hathnora, Odai, Pune, Bimbetka. So these are the four important sites. This is sample one. I'm going to increase wherever, whenever new evidence comes. So likewise, at least in the first round, you have to cover most important aspects. Next one, if you go to Paleolithic sites, then Paleolithic sites spread across India. In different states, we got different evidence. In Madhya Pradesh, Adamgar, Bimbetka. In Tamil Nadu, Atirampakam. Rajasthan, Didwana, Mogara Hill. So likewise, you have to have all the important uh, items of Paleolithic. Next, Mesolithic site, same, state by state. Uttar Pradesh, Chopani, Mondo, Kalbi, Bihar, Paisra, Maharashtra, Nivasa, Patne, Karnataka, Hunsgi. Now, if you observe, some sites might be Paleolithic also, Mesolithic also, and uh, some sites Neolithic also, Chalcolithic also. Same site may come in different stages, because it is the evolution. A site, say settlement, might have started in Mesolithic time period, but it continued its settlement to Neolithic stage. Then some Neolithic stage settlements continued their settlement in the Chalcolithic phase. That's why this is this systematic uh, statewide, in which state, uh, which type of evidence came, you have to know. Then only your map is going to be very interesting and you are going to be very safe when it comes to first question itself. This is what, as part of program map classes, 15 days, 30 hours, you are going to get special map classes. As part of these classes, you will get uh, this kind of material. And when it comes to the site, now once we go to the site, how I designed it. For example, you can see here. Let us say, take Hathnora one example. I will take Bimbetka because it is very well-known area. I have given difference. Suppose Bimbetka. Now Bimbetka, most of the students know that it is a Paleolithic site. Now you can see hominid fossil site, same site it can be pinpointed by UPSC in the Bimbetka site, but instead of Paleolithic, it will give hominid fossil site. But same Bimbetka can be asked as Paleolithic site as well. That's why you will have, this is how our material looks like. UPSC map question types. In different angles, same Bimbetka. Question answer is going to be Bimbetka, but question can be asked in multiple ways. It can be asked as hominid fossil site also. It can be asked as Paleolithic site also. It can be also asked as prehistoric site. Prehistoric means there is no script. We know about these places only through archaeological evidence. And I have given the map also. This is one, this is for the proper description of this site, like discovery, whatever. For example, if we go to Now you can see here, for example, Hathnora. When it comes to Hathnora, you will get uh, this kind of description from the standard book itself, so that you need not to worry about 30 words. 30 quality words you should be able to generate. About discovery, then you will have different subheadings if you get other scholars, what they have identified, what they discovered, all those elements, what animal evidence, what plant uh, evidence, what stone tools evidence, all these things will come. So likewise, we are going to cover all Paleolithic important sites. At least a minimum 400 sites will come. This is the material. You will get one more material, this similar same content, but in a different uh, presentation. This one in the form of mind maps. You can see here. Now, for example, brooch. In the material, you are going to see all the important ports in India. For example, if you start from Gujarat, 
In Gujarat, we have different ports like uh, Lodal is there, Brochi is there. In Maharashtra, Sopara is there. In Kerala, Mujiris. In Tamil Nadu, Korkai. Likewise, we will cover all the sites, important site with respect to ports, important ports. In material, you will get statewide and map also. But if you see in the form of image like this, the same content is going to be transformed into this image format. Now, suppose if you see, this is brooch. Hardly you need how many words? 30 words. You will get important points like this. When it comes to geography, country, state, because when it comes to our ancient part, we have Afghanistan also, Pakistan also, Bangladesh also, present day India also. That's why one separate category I have given country. Some sites might be in Pakistan, some sites in Afghanistan, some sites in Bangladesh. Obviously, most of the sites will come from India. State, Gujarat, district, river. So geography, all the geography points in one place. And here itself, you will get seven, eight words itself. The moment you start 30 words, in seven, eight words itself, geography itself will come. Out of 30 words, six, seven words are here only. Next, references, if there is any reference, then different time period, different evidence will come post mauryan period, colonial time period. So likewise, we need to, geography-wise, time period-wise, Mahajanapada time period, Mauryan time period, post mauryan time period, different evidences, same place. Once you know this in the form of image, then it will stick to your brain. This is how you are going to get another type of material with mind maps. For example, Mahabalipuram. You will get the map here, Mahabalipuram, where it is located. Now, geography. Then, when it comes to Neolithic phase, what evidence? Pallava time period, what evidence we got? So likewise, Tamralipti, Tamlok. India, where it looks, when it comes to state, in which location it is there. So geography, Chalcolithic, NBPW, post Mauryan, Harshavardhana. So that it is properly organized. Content also properly organized. Map also identification. And with the index, you are going to handle the map question very interestingly and very easily. If you at least follow 400 important sites, 15 to 16 questions you can make. And if you get 2.5 out of 2.5 for 16 questions, that is 40 marks. That is 80% of the score in single question itself. Now you imagine you are entering into the examination hall, starting with the first question, you ensured at least 35 to 36 marks in first question itself, then what kind of psychological boost it will have on the second question onwards. So second, third, fourth. Now once you are comfortable with paper one, after writing paper one, you will be so confident that paper two, you will do even better way. In that way, first question is going to decide the marks of paper. That is why I have invested so much time on this, those who join the course, they will get as part of material, as part of mind maps also, you will be given. And you will be given a lot of exercises also in the, question, in the classroom, so that you will be so much comfortable in map question. This is with respect to map classes. So I have shown you how our material looks like, how our mind maps also looks like. Next one, PYQ solution book. PYQ solutions, first 10 years, you have to be very much thorough. And as part of practice, I'm going to give you this PYQ workbook. You can see this. This PYQ workbook looks exactly like UPSC. This booklet will be given to you. What you need to do, I have here reference here, ancient and early medieval part. Now you can see, this is like workbook, as if you are writing the mains examination. Because knowledge is one part. Students have a lot of challenge in converting that knowledge into proper writing where you will get a lot of score. Your question paper will be like this, answer question come answer booklet. In the UPSC, question itself printed and space is given. Suppose if it is 15 mark, I have given you two pages. Now you need to write, for example, this is the previous year question 2020. Puranas were the innovative genre of 
literature to popularize and revive vedic religion elaborate with examples now you see elaborate with examples without mentioning examples many students will come will fill the space no problem filling two pages is not at all a problem for those students who are writing mains but filling with the quality content only matters and especially if question itself says elaborate with examples definitely that point we should not miss this is where value added notes will help you and map material also will help you in that angle now you need to write this one one page and the second page whatever while you are reading you might have got so much evidence or so much material for puranas but ultimately you have to convert your knowledge into two papers two pages and these two pages should contain the structure exactly what upsc is demanding you cannot write whatever you know about puranas and that puranas knowledge has to be converted into this systematic uh, segregation of the parts you have to identify what parts are there what is the exact demand of the question and accordingly what should be the introduction what should be the conclusion and in between how you have to present it so this workbook will help you exactly how you are going to write in the mains examination i am going to provide you first as first phase 1 first 10 years pyq solutions you will get and gradually you are going to get other years also my aim is to make all the 44 years pyq solutions for you this program will deal with pyq solution book 10 years 20 uh, 2013 to 2022 you will get pyq workbook also and i will explain all the pyq solutions and i will give solutions properly so that i will i will try to give all the dimensions because i cannot follow 100 words because if i give only 100 words and you will not get the all the dimensions that's why i will try to give as many dimensions as possible but again in the same structure so here my focus while preparing the pyq solution is the structure suppose if question is having two parts part 1 and part 2 in your pyq workbook in part 1 you may write five dimensions in part 2 you may have you may write five dimensions because of space constraint but i should give if there are 10 dimensions for the part 1 i should give you all the 10 dimensions so that you can remember 5 out of 10 so that you will get so my focus here is not the word limit but more than word limit the structure because once you know you once you master the structure according to you, suppose if same question comes for 20 marks then you can elaborate the same dimensions according to the space that's why my aim is to inculcate the structure in you for every question that is the crux of this particular course next one test series test series this pyq solution is like chapter by chapter you are going to practice but those who are already comfortable and those who want to test like proper exam with 250 marks like upsc 3 hours pattern for those students 2023 main test series in ancient uh, two question papers two parts two papers and medieval two tests modern india two test modern world two test and combinedly four full length text also will be covered and this is the schedule this is going to be that schedule so from june 18th onwards you are going to get the first test so likewise in ancient india two tests medieval two test modern india two test and modern world two test and full length papers you will get in the end so it is for those who already have some have already had studied and those who want to focus more on 250 marks style of pattern this practice is ultimately very very crucial in getting you have to be habitual to this kind of uh, practice this is one course now combinedly also those who opt for the all types of courses for them also option is there so these are various courses 
who aim more than 300 in history optional. So this is like systematic approach. I have taken where students are feeling painful. Generally, most of the students have the minimum content. 230 marks, 240 marks also many students used to get because in one of the advantages of art subject as optional is average score is minimum assured unless we commit mistakes ourselves like map if we don't write anything. It is our own mistake. If you at least read decently, you will get the average score. But to get good rank, you have to stretch yourself to get up to 300. That is where up to 280, 290, 300, these scores will come only when you add these sections also into your preparation. That's why my focus here is to add some value to your preparation with value added notes. And another one is map. Map already I have shown you. You will get two types of material. One material is complete description. Another material is mind maps. So that you will have complete uh, control, command over map question. Because it is the ultimate uh, question which will decide your fate to reach you to the higher scores. These are various courses I am going to offer for 2023 main students. I will be available always here at Diademy, Rajendra Nagar Center. You can come and meet me anytime and I will be there to help you out. All the best. See you in the programs. Thank you. Thank you very much.